Today I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite cocktails, not only to drink, but to make because it's fun, it's whimsical, um, and we're playing around with some Bacardi rum today as well, just to kind of give you that great flavor and that great cocktail you know you want. We're making a pina colada. So the pina colada is seen as a very girly drink most of the time because you see it in movies and, and TV shows, and I think when it's done well, it's really like fun, tiki, tropical, and we're in the tropics, so might as well make something really flavorful and nice and juicy. So it's actually really simple to make, but what you wanna make sure is that all your ingredients are super fresh and just really nice and sweet, especially the pineapple. So we're gonna start off by pouring our pineapple juice. To that, I'm gonna add a little bit of some citrus. So I've got a nice plump lemon. And then we're gonna go ahead and just freshly squeeze that in here. Now with the syrups and pina colada, you can really mess around. Today I'm using some great melon syrup. It'll just give us a nice candy taste to it. Finish off with our coconut milk. Just a little bit of that. Gives it a nice kind of creamy balance. And then finally, we can go ahead and add in our rum. So I'm gonna start with some Bacardi Gold. This is their new formatted bottles. They're actually pretty dope. We're gonna start with about 45 of that. And then just to give us a kind of nice smoky counterbalance, we're gonna use some Bacardi Black. A bit less than the gold because this has a really strong flavor, but it'll just give us a nice kind of complete drink. That's pretty good. So I'm gonna add in some ice. So I have a nice cold glass over here. And we're gonna go ahead and just break all that ice, which gives us that beautiful dilution we're looking for. We want to go ahead and fill our glass with some ice and then just fill that up to the brim. It'll be nice and frothy, nice and milky, which is exactly what we want. What I like to do when garnishing a pina colada, I like getting the whole top of an actual pineapple. Just square it off so that's easy to kind of put on top and rest on top. And that's so your straw has space to move around as well. And that is how you make a really playful, beautiful, and tasty pina colada.